Hey church, I hope you're having a great day. I miss you so much. And uh, in the midst of the crazy last handful of days, weeks, and months that we have been navigating as individuals, community, and a nation, I just have been so thankful to be a part of this family. I love being friends with you. I love following Jesus with you. And I just think it's such a blessing and an honor to be alive right now, following Jesus in a time where the world and people need him so badly. As you have heard, we are having church back in person for the first time this Sunday. There's a lot of details that go along with it and a lot of questions I'm sure you have, so I want to do the best I can to inform you on what is going on. First things first, yes, church in person this Sunday. We're doing two services at our normal time, 9 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. Both services will be in person and online, so if you don't want to come to church in person, that is totally fine. You're welcome to jump in online. Uh, we don't know how many of you want to come back, if it's a lot or a few, so we're doing two services to make sure that no matter how many people show up, we have plenty of space in the building. We are also not going to be having Antioch Kids open, so none of the classrooms will be open, but your children are welcome to come to church on Sunday. They'll just be in the sanctuary with us instead of checking them in in their classrooms. As far as masks go, uh, this is one of those things where we are all hearing lots of different information all the time, and specifically even about what's being mandated. So in Marion County, the mayor has given a list of clear mandates of what needs to happen, but the enforcement of those things is really unclear. So that puts us in a place where we're saying, we're gonna do everything we can to make a space that's safe and comfortable for each and every one of you to come together. So we're gonna have masks available for anybody who wants a mask, but we are not gonna be enforcing the fact that you have to have that on at all times. As a staff, we're gonna be wearing them whenever somebody's not on stage, but you are, will, you are able to make your own decision on that. Please, by all means, bring your own if you want to. If you don't bring your own, we'll have one for you. Uh, in the sanctuary uh, for social distancing, we have moved our chairs around to make sure that there's plenty of space between them. Uh, but we also can't uh, really know who's gonna show up and what size of groups or families and all that kind of thing. So when we show up to church on Sunday, I want you to know that this place is your living room too. And if chairs need to move or be added or taken away, by all means, do what you need to do and let's all work together to make a comfortable space for all of us to be together. When you walk in, you'll see everything's already spaced out and kind of chaotic, so we might as well make it more chaotic and have fun with it. As far as offering goes during give and take, we're not gonna be passing any baskets, but you will be able to give as you leave the morning when you're dismissed from church. Our heart all along from when we close down services to even now as we open up has been to have compassion. Compassion on each other and compassion on the community as we, that we live in. So as we come back together, let's keep compassion at the forefront of our hearts. Everybody sees all of these things from different angles and perspectives. And when we come together, let's make sure we're submitting ourselves to one another. For example, if you're a major extrovert and love hugs, you, are, you can't wait to come to church on Sunday. But not everybody's ready for a hug. Some people might be, but not everybody. So let's just make sure we're over communicating and going overboard. Let's be real. This has already made life awkward for all of us. Let's go the extra mile and ask each other questions like, are we hugging? Are we handshaking? Do we need to just do this from here? Let's make sure we're honoring each other and loving each other well as we come together. If we can have our heart there, then we can figure this out together in a great way. I can't wait to be with you at church on Sunday or online. I love you so much. Have a great day.